My warm greetings to all of you, our members, and my hope that you, your family, friends and colleagues are well and thriving in these difficult times. Sadly, I know we've lost some of our members and some of you are grieving and have been unwell. So I am sending you our thoughts and prayers and our hope that you find comfort and solace and health for the future. We haven't been able to meet over the last few months and sadly all of our summer events have been cancelled. But I know that our fellowship has been thriving and warm during these, these weeks and months. And indeed, many members have been reaching out to each other uh, in support and friendship. The very best of what a livery company has to offer. We very much hope to hold our Common Hall, our annual event, on the 1st of October to install our new master-elect, David Sales, as the new master. We don't know how we're going to run that event. It may have to be virtual, but we will definitely be holding it. And the livery committee has been working very hard and is planning events for the future too, and also working on its vibrant modern new programme of social events and professional briefings. Meanwhile, the membership committee too has been working on its recruitment drive. And I was delighted that we were able to admit eight new members at our last two court meetings held by Zoom. Members that we will welcome at Common Hall and who will bring new skills and diversity to our membership. Meanwhile, INED and IWIN have also been holding seminars and held four very successful and well attended seminars with more planned for the future. And finally, we await the launch in September of our I Engage Your Career programme, arranged by I Engage for younger professionals in our market. I hope you will look at the new website, still work in progress, and also read the report I sent you last week. And I hope in it, you will be find much to be proud of, like I am. And in particular, I hope you will be proud of all the trustees have done to maximise what we can do using your generosity to help those in need in these difficult times. We have had record-breaking grants of £145,000 from the General Fund and over £200,000 expected from the Education Fund to help young students from the underprivileged backgrounds at these very difficult times with training, development, mentoring and career support. I hope you're as proud of all of this work as I am. So it's been a busy and rewarding few months and I'm really grateful to the wardens, treasurer, chairs, past master and particularly our new clerk, Victoria King, who've all been wonderful support during these last few months, working hard on investing in the future of our company as well as investing in the future of others that we support. Many congratulations to Victoria for securing the role of Clark and I know with her supporting us we will be a modern and vibrant livery company of the future, a company that is rooted in the past, vibrant in the present and committed to the future.